Hello and welcome to another Aggie's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight, don't know uh, why I'm reviewing earlier from the old advent calendar behind me. Tonight I'm going to review a beer from Joseph Holt called 6X. So I'm not sure if it's actually a, a Christmassy beer. It looks, it looks a bit Christmassy themed. So it was the invention of... Woodcut printing in the 14th century that led to the playing of cards becoming wildly popular, especially against amongst tavern drinkers. With this strong ale, you can bet on a full-bodied taste. Founded by Joseph Holt in 1849, the brewery has remained in the family for five generations, respects to that. Um, it has grown to become a leading independent brewer of traditional ales, Proud to be part of Manchester's history. So, obviously not a Christmas ale then. 6%. I can't remember having it before. Got it from B&M Bargains. Uh, I've got to say B&M Bargains and Home, uh, Home Bargains. Excelling themselves with the new beers they're bringing out. Uh, every time I go in now, this is a weekly thing. And, uh, you know, it's my weekly thing just to go in and uh, see if I can get a new beer. And uh, it didn't disappoint. So, I had two hours sleep last night due to a cold. And then uh, we've got a boy with autism. And uh, he's whimpering. My wife, because she's bunged up, she's obviously uh, breathing a bit heavy. So, I had hardly no sleep. And it's, it's like half seven. And I'm absolutely shattered so a nice uh, strong ale should be just a ticket and hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep so always nice when you're drinking something you've never had before because there's an anticipation uh, of what to expect and you don't know you can read other people's reviews, uh, you can watch YouTube videos of people like myself who do reviews, but the best way is to go and do it yourself. <sighs> A little bit too close. So on the nose, I can smell malt, that's all I can smell. Got a bit of a blocked up nose, so, you know, can't do nothing about that today. Hopefully my taste buds are all right because obviously it ain't good being the beer review if your taste buds are all out of sync. Well, very nice dark malt uh, flavour to it. An exceeding, exceedingly drinkable. Right, let's have a look on the internet, see if I can bring up some reviews. It's, uh, it says it's a champion ale as well, or champion ales. So, so. S I X E X. So on ratebeer.com from seventy five ratings, three point three three out of five. Never, never easy to um, gauge uh, aggregate websites, aren't because uh, it all depends on the quality of the reviewer. Um, depends on you know how many people have drank it for the first time and just don't like it. You know, it's it's so hit and miss. <clears throat> Best thing to do is have a look, see what you think. So from two years ago, from Morrison's, deep dark reddish mahogany in colour. So, I didn't actually look at the colour, did I? I would have said that's a ruby colour with a, a tan head. Can't see any carbonation there. Um, Off-white head, slowly fades, lightish aroma of malt and spice. 
medium to full body, slightly sweet, nice spice and zesty undertones, good longish finish, good stuff. Another one from 2016, pours very dark, pours dark clear brown with a creamy head, aromas of burnt sugar, faint dried herbs, some sweet creaminess, boozy fruit cake, taste as instant coffee, cream, light chocolate, thick mouthfeel, dry finish, good strong ale. Right, another interesting review. You do get the odd idiot review, and I'm not reading the idiot reviews out. It's not a point. Uh, so, for someone's put a very pleasantly surprised. Dark ale, 6%. Good, strong flavour. The aroma is sweet caramel chocolate with a licorice hint. I actually did get a licorice hint on the initial um, sip, but I didn't want to say anything in case I got it wrong. So, that's quite nice. Uh, the flavour follows that of a predominant sweetness with a viscous mouthfeel. I could get drunk on this easily. Yes. <sighs> Gotta say, really nice. Um, I've not took no tablets tonight, no cold and flu tablets, because I should be tired enough just to nod off and go sleep. Did a rhyme review earlier, about an hour ago. A little bottle of wine. That tasted great. 14.5%. Went down a treat. Um, so, good multi flavour, definite coffee, hint of chocolate, definite licorice, really. I thought it was licorice, but I didn't want to say anything too much because I didn't want to look an idiot. But it's nice to get a bit of verification, you know, once you've tasted it and you think to yourself, is it, is it not? Really good, strong winter warmer beer. Um, drinking it in about 20, 22 degrees in here, so it's it's at that temperature. But it's lovely. You know, it's just what you want on a, on what has been a blooming cold day. Woke up this morning, there's ice on the inside of the car, on the outside of the car. Sprays the car with the um, antifreeze, turns the engine on. Does the windscreen wiper? It's froze up already. The antifreeze just froze up. So I left it running for a minute, went back in the house, got the antifreeze, sprayed it on the front again. But obviously it's taken a while because I ended up driving onto the main road. Could hardly see, to be honest. Not really ideal conditions. You should always warm your car up. So. Luckily, within a minute or two, it cleared and it was easy to drive then, but what a cold snap that was. Hopefully tonight, it's not going to get quite as cold. And, uh, I mean, we've been lucky. We've had about four so far, four good frosts uh, this winter, you know, from October, about middle of October, the first one. It's been, you know, quite mild. Uh, interesting to see what the rest of winter is going to bring. Uh, with you know the changing climates but anyway back onto the beer very nice very nice beer six percent you know we're, we're in we're in top 20 cat um you know zone really you know it's a it's a very interesting beer for me One of them beers you could do having two or three of just to, you know, really get the taste of it. But saying that, for this time of the year, absolutely, you know, cracking beer. Can't fault it. And, you know, to say they're an independent brewery, can't fault that either. You know, it's good that people are staying independent, keeping away from the bigger breweries. Because that's when breweries get lost, you know, in the mix, which is sad, but obviously people do what they can do to stay to survive or they think survive you know so uh, really nice taste 
I can't fault it. Good from start to finish. Good, dark, strong beer from the whole length of it. Um, you know, it reminds me of the likes of King Goblin and them sort of beers. So it's in a very good company. So I'm going to give it... I thought it might be a good beer when I picked it up, you know. Um, I thought I actually thought it was a Christmassy beer because you look at that and you thought, oh, that looks Christmassy, that does. But they're actually playing cards. Who knew? Out of five, I'm going to give it a good 4.6 out of five. Really liked it. Really good addition. 6%. Tastes be better than six to me. But anyway, right, anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.